Welcome to Research Talk. I hope you all are enjoying our journey together on qualitative data analysis. In our previous videos, we talked about first cycle of coding methods, such as descriptive coding, emotion coding, versus coding, uh, process coding, and all those various ways of coding the data, initial level of coding. And we call it first cycle of coding. Now we will start talking about second cycle of coding methods. The purpose of second cycle of coding methods is to uh, develop themes, uh, processes, uh, deeper understanding from the first cycle of the codes that we have already developed. So that's in summary why we do second cycle of coding methods. In the first cycle of code, coding methods, you may come up with a lot of codes. So code might vary in terms of numbers from where between let's say 30 codes to maybe 100 codes, depending on the research project that you are doing. Now, the purpose of second cycle code is also to minimize those codes so that you can see what are the broader patterns that are emerging from the data? What are the themes emerging from the data? What are the processes, categories emerging from the data? So that's, in short, the purpose of second cycle of coding methods. And there are many methods that we are going to learn. The first one is, process, uh, not process, we call it pattern coding. We'll learn uh, focused coding. We'll also learn axial coding methods. And then we'll also learn theoretical coding. So these are the four main methods that we will learn under second cycle coding methods. So let's start with the first method and I will cover this method in our today's video and then later I will demonstrate it on my computer screen. How does it look like in practical? So pattern coding is a method which helps us to see how the first cycle of different codes, the initial codes, how they are in some way showing a pattern maybe related to each other, or the, uh, there are codes which can be grouped together. So that's what we try to do in pattern coding. So let's say that in the first cycle of coding, initial coding, you got, let's say, 30 codes, for example. And let's say code one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let's say 30 codes. So what do you do? You look at all the codes, initial codes, and see if some of the codes are showing one pattern, and then you can group these codes together, or how these various codes are maybe some showing some relationship with each other, which can be grouped together. So that's what you do in the pattern coding method. Um, let me show, uh, give an exa another example. Let's say I'm doing a study where I interviewed, um, let's say I'm, I did interview in a software company where I uh, wanted to understand the leadership style or maybe the communication style, leadership style of the leaders in the company. And then let's say I interviewed uh, office manager, let's say I interviewed uh, other staff member in, in a department. And let's say when in those interviews, when I did my initial coding, some codes emerged. So let's say the first code which emerged is vague guidelines. So that's my first code when I, I, I got it from my interview data vague guidelines, which means vague guidelines related to the communication from the top to, uh, to the department. And there is another code, let's say, 
st given orders this is another initial code which which talks about that sometimes the communication the order which happens which is given it's it's more like not planned in advance they are more hasty in nature and there is another code let's say partial uh, instruction and this code is about sometimes the communication which is given the orders which are given directions which are given they are partial they don't complete all the information which is needed let's say there is another code which talks about uh, let's say it is an in vivo code where the person says her communication is lacking another initial code um, there is another code let's say which says need for written instructions And let's say there is another code where again in vivo code where, which is more like uh, a direct statement from the participant and it says you failed to inform me another in vivo code that's why i put it in inverted comma so let's let's take for instance that these are initial codes and there is many more but when i am doing pattern coding a second cycle of coding uh, approach what i am looking if you read all these codes they seem to showing a pattern of communication vague guidelines orders given in 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 has has to given orders partial instructions communication is lacking her communication so this person who is being interviewed is talking about her boss where the communication is lacking and then another initial code which is need for written instructions and the finally you fail to inform me so you see these codes they seem to convey some 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 theme some major uh, problem here so all these themes can be and they are showing a pattern and can be, can be clubbed together into a broader category or code broader category slash code so what do you think what code you think is is suitable for all these codes initial codes what comes to my mind is dysfunctional communication dysfunctional communication and that really captures the essence here the the overall overarching uh, theme which is emerging from all these initial codes here so we can code all these initial codes into another code a broader code which is dysfunctional communication so that what uh, pattern coding looks like and let me now show another example from a real transcript uh, where I have the codes and then I can show it on my computer screen how does pattern coding looks like.